I know it sucks, but it's back to school time and dealing with PDFs is a must. So why not use one of the best tools available out there? And no, I am not talking about Adobe Acrobat, which is expensive and you could say it's outdated. I'm going to show you PDF element, which is updated, has AI and it's super smart. So let me show you how to use it. Now, the idea is that you can grab PDF elements right now in the link of the description and install it right now. In this case, I have it installed here on my Mac application and you're going to see how powerful this actually is. Plus the user interface is super easy to use. Now, in this case, I've loaded in one of the PDFs available here and you're going to get several options available. First thing you need to know is the tabs on the top, which is the tabs for the tools that you're going to have available, which is comments, edit, convert, organize tools, form, protect, and a batch editing features. Now, aside from that, you're going to get the AI features over here on the right. Now let's get started with AI and then we're going to get into the basics for PDF elements. Now, if you want to use AI, there's several ways that we can use it, including talking to the PDF. So it's going to understand what the PDF is about. So if you load in, a document, if you load in some laws for lawyers, etc., you can talk to it and it's going to make it way easier for you to understand what the PDF is about by making a summary, by talking to it, asking questions, etc. And that's going to be super easy here by just chatting with it. So for example, in this case, I'm going to start asking this one, summarize the user guidebook here, and it's going to understand what it's about and give me the details here in a summary without having to go through the whole document, which could be boring. And you don't want to spend some time reading it. So let's summarize it. Here we go. We got the summary now for the overview of this PDF. So here's the details about it. I can keep chatting with it. I can ask questions. I can summarize the current PDF. I can generate a mind map from the PDF and do a whole lot of things with the chat here. Now I can also translate it. So if I need to translate it to a different language, that is possible here. I can also do grammar check. I can also do AI detect. So if someone sends you out a document and you are not the student, you are the teacher, well, use the AI detector to see if they use AI. Now, it doesn't stop there just by chatting with it. You can also work with images using the AI. So let's just say that I jump into editing and I want to add an image. I have two options. I can add an image of my own or I can generate an image. But let me show you that you get additional features while adding an image. So let me go ahead and select one of my images here. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to place it inside of here. And here we go, just for testing purposes. So what can I do with it? So on the right, we got some AI features aside from the basic uh, changing the size, the rotation and all of that. We got some smart image editing with AI so I can upscale it. I can remove background. I can erase. I can enhance, etc. So first off, let's enhance this with AI. Let's see how good it's going to turn out from the original image. You might have an old image that might be a bit blurry. It has a bit, a bit tweaking that I can improve. And in this case, here we go. So we got a better version here that is way clearer. So here we got the original, which is kind of a uh, dull, not crisp. You can see that the skin needs some fixing there. So the enhancer did a good job for this. Or what if I need to remove the background? Well, go ahead and do it straight from here. You don't have to jump into an image editor to get this accomplished. So take full advantage of the AI feature here and you got more available tools for AI. So let's go ahead and discard this. Let's get rid of the image. And let me show you really quickly what the tabs are for. So first off, we got the commenter, which lets you highlight text. So if I want to highlight this, there's also the option for the area highlight, the strike checkout, underline, several tools available. That is for commenting, even adding comments, text, etc. into this section. There's also the AI assistant available here with several available tools for the section that you are on. Now there's also the editing features. So if you need to edit something from the PDF, so let's just say that this needs to be updated or removed, just go ahead and type inside of here and edit it. You can add text, images, links, add audio and video, watermarks. So if you want to watermark all of this, that is possible. You got the options for the background options, header and footers. If you want to add header and footer to all of these pages or just one single page, that is available there. If you want to do page numbers, if it doesn't have page numbers and you need them, go ahead and do so from here. There's also options for converting. So if you want to turn this into a PowerPoint, Excel, Word, etc., that is possible here really easily with these options. So go ahead and take advantage of it. Want to reorganize pages? Easy. Just go ahead and click on this section and reorganize it. Want to find out more available tools? Go ahead and use OCR. If, if it didn't detect the text, well, use OCR or OCR on area. Combine, compare, uh, compress, flatten, just a lot of options available here on the tools, including these right here, form options, 
protect options. So if you want to encrypt this, that is possible and batch options to do things in batch mode. So several available options, including the tabs options to add several PDFs here. So you don't have to stick to just viewing one. You have options to add more and work with them in combination if you need to. So several available tools for PDF elements. So definitely check it out and grab it right now. Link provided in the description. And that is a wrap.